Hi there, and welcome to this video on how to use the volume and bar support for print preparation for fused filament fabrication in Fusion 360. In most slicers, the support structure is generated on slicing, and the user has little control on the placement and structure itself. Fusion 360's workflow offers users more freedom in both support placement and support structure. In this example, supports will be generated for this foosball player. Having created a setup, selected a printer and print setting, the next step is to generate support. Navigate to the supports group in the toolbar. Here, there are two support options, solid volume and solid bar support. Solid volume support is best for supporting large overhanging areas whereas solid bar support is ideal for bodies with small specific overhanging areas. Select the solid volume support and this opens the volume support dialog. Here, select the individual faces that require support. Alternatively, the whole model can be selected and supports will be generated for the faces whose areas fall below the angle defined by the overhang angle. Clicking OK will create a preview of that support structure. This looks good, but those horizontal holes will also need to be supported. For these features, navigate back to the Supports toolbar group and select Solid Bar Support. This opens the Bar Support dialog. From here, select those horizontal holes. Leave the rest of the settings as default and click OK. The bars have been generated. Make sure to notice how the bars generate at an angle down from the feature onto the print bed to avoid the body. Great, now the part is fully supported. The final stage is to check the print settings. Right click on the print setting in the setup and click edit. The print setting editor dialog will open. Navigate to the support tab of the strong body preset. Note. These support settings have been optimised for the volume support, so a few edits will be needed to accommodate the bar supports in the print. Here, set the number of support perimeters to 1 and the number of support bottom layers to 3. Finally, right click on the strong body preset and make this the default. This will mean any bodies on the print bed will use the strong body preset. Click OK. Generate the toolpath and then simulate. Using the drag arrow, check both the body and support toolpaths. And once happy, select post process to generate the print file. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please reach out on the Fusion 360 forums at forums.autodesk.com.